I'm going to talk about um, an example for the multiple application Simpsons wanted rule in this video. Okay, so this example is the same as the previous example used for the trapezoidal rule and the Simpsons wanted rule. So in this question, they ask you to solve the same function with a limit from a equals to 0 and b equals to 0 0.8. Okay, so in this question, we know that the number of segments is 4. So we can calculate the step size, which is the H, according to this formula here, B minus A divided by N. So B is 0 0.8 minus 0, A is 0. Okay, so we get uh, 0 0.8 divided by 4, which is here, the N. So the step size or the H is 0 0.2 which is the width of the segment, okay? So the segment has to be equispace. So it has four segments, so first segment, second, third, and fourth segment. So according to here, uh, this is your A and this is your B, and these segments, they are all equispace with the width or the step size is 0 0.2. So, oops, so this is 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, and 0 0.2. Okay, so the problem is now is to identify what is this point, this point, and this point. Since we know A is 0, B is 0 0.8, and the step size is 0 0.2. So this is automatically 0 0.2, and this is 0 0.4, and this is 0 0.6. So he, how do you get this? Is by 0 plus 0 0.2. So you get this point. And then 0 0.2 plus 0 0.2. So you will get the next point. And then 0 0.4 plus 0 0.2. You will get 0 0.6. Okay, now that you have figured out what are all those points. So it's time to list out their functions, values. Okay, when x equals to 0, fx is 0 0.2. When x equals to 0.4, fx is 2.456. So you calculate for all the other points. And now we got all the values for all the points and their respective functions. It's time to substitute in this multiple application Simpson's one third rule formula. So this one should be no problem. It's just 0 0.8 minus 0. So we get 0 0.8. And for this one, the first term here, you should substitute the first point, which is this point, A0. All right, FX0 for this one. And as I mentioned before in my previous video, the next term is for the odd points. And the following term is for the even points. So this is the odd points. So this is point number one point number two, point number three. Okay, so um, for this and for this, these are odd points. And this one here is even point. So for the odd points, we substitute their values, which is in this case, this one, this, and this. We substitute their values in these terms plus 4 and then in the bracket this is the summation of all the odd points all right 1.288 which is this one plus 3.464 which is this okay that's that will do that will settle for the odd points and then on the even point. So in this example, we only have one point, which is this for the even point. Plus two, so this is plus, all right? You cannot see, all right? Plus two, summation 2.456 plus 2.32 is the last point for the limit, which is this. Divided by 12. Why 12? 3 times n. n is number of segments. 4. 
so you will get this answer which is very close to the um, to the exact integral here is very very close so you 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 can see that um, you know if we use multiple application simpsons wanted rule you will get an improvement for your answer okay now let's move on to the next method which is the simpsons 3 over 8 rule so for this rule it permits evaluation of odd numbers of segments even number of points so previously in the simpsons one third it's the other way around which is even segment odd points in this in which it requires three points three points two segments okay for simpsons three over eight rule it's the other way around of the simpsons one third it needs odd number of segments, even number of points. And this is the formula for the 3 over 8 rule. Okay. And the step size is B minus A divided by 3. So this is the step size. So we call the equation as 3 over 8 rule because H, the step size here, is multiplied by 3 over 8. Or called as Newton Coates close integration formula. So if we um, substitute this into this formula, you will get this one. Okay, so this is the Simpson's 3 over 8 rule formula. And this rule is more accurate than Simpson's one third rule. Okay, let's look at the example here. Use Simpson's three over eight rule to integrate again the same function uh, using this limit. All right, and there are two parts here. That is the first part, and the second part use this method in conjunction with Simpson's one third rule to integrate the same function for five segments. Okay, let's look at A first. So, a single application of Simpson's 3 over 8 rule actually requires 4 points and 3 segments. Okay. So, let's say you have your A here, your limit, and B. You only require 4 points. First point, second point, third point, fourth point, and three segment first second third okay so it's time for you to work out what are the points in between so first and foremost you need to calculate the step size so the step size is b minus a divided by 3 so 0 0.8 divided by 3 so each of these segment the width is 0 0.8 over 3. And then um, when you do your calculation, the next point is, this is 0 0.2667. And this point here is 0 0.53333. Substitute all these values inside this function to work out what is the function value. Now you got all the values here. You can plug in into this 3 over 8 formula. So this one is, of course, for the first point. And this one is for the second point, this. This one is for the third point, which is this. And the last one is the last point, which is this one. Okay? So you can just substitute them inside and then you get your answer. And then let's look at part b use it in conjunction with one third rule to integrate the same function for five segments so the first thing for you to do is to identify what are the points between 0 and 0 0.8 and um, the points are divided with five segments one two three 
four, five. So one, two, three, four, five. So you need another four points in between. So this is easy. You need the segments to be equispaced. So all you have to do is just zero point eight divided by five. So each segment will have a step size of point one six. So automatically you know that the first point is point one six. The second point is point three two and the rest and so on and so on. You just have to add with zero point one six every time. So you will be working with these six points, all right? One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, for this kind of question, you need to think um, which segment that is suitable for you to use which method. So in this case, in this example, the first two segments here, this one, we're going to solve using Simpson's one Third rule because you know that Simpson's one third rule it only needs three points uh, you can actually use uh, Simpson's one third here at the end and use the rest for the uh, three over eight but then I'm following this example here they are using the first two data or the first three data for the Simpson's one third rule so this is the formula to substitute this is 0 0.2 for the fx0 plus 4 and this one is uh, f0.16 which is the fx1 and then plus fx2 uh, is the last one which is 1.743393 so you calculate this you will get this answer for these remaining three segments we're going to use 3 over 8 okay so um, the question is which point shall we use so we're going to work with point this point uh, this one this and this four points and three segments so these four points actually starts from 0 0.32 0 0.48 0 0.64 and 0 0.8 all right so just substitute your values inside this formula and you will get this answer so the total integral is you need to calculate you have to um, add this integral, the first one, plus 1.264754. So you'll get this answer. So if you compare with the true value, it's really, really close to the true value in which the total error um, or the true error is 28%. So this is how it looks like. This is the function, the blue color. So the first two segments, which have one, two, three, three points, which is the odd points, we use one third rule. And then the following segments, or the remaining segments, we use three over eight rule. The final part of the integration segment is integration with unequal segments. So for this last part, we are going to see how are we going to do integration when it involves unequal segments which are not uh, which in which the step size are not the same so let's say first uh, we, we have um, this is the interval and we have a few segments the h here is 0 0.2 and the h here is suddenly dropped to 0 0.1 and this is up again to 0 0.2 while this is 0 0.3 so you see that the space they are not um, identical they are, meaning they are not equally spaced data points okay one way to do that is to apply trapezoidal rule to each segment and sum the result meaning first you need to do trapezoidal rule for this and then for this and then this and this and then just sum everything up you get the total integral that is the easiest easiest way to do to calculate integration with unequal segments this one just to show you how to solve this example using trapezoidal rule with unequal segments so if you actually calculate the difference or the step size between these and these they are not the same this is 0 0.12 and this is 0 0.1 okay uh, this one is 0 0.1 
and this one is 0 0.04 so obviously the space between the points are not uh, the same they, this data are not equispace then we use trapezoidal rule for each of the segments so we have a lot of segments here and then we total them up together to come up with this answer so this is another example for the unequal space or uneven data in which we include Simpson's rules together with the um, trapezoidal rule. So this is the function and this is the data given. Okay. And they ask us to integrate this data from 0, 0.0 to 0, 0.8. So here the first segment is evaluated with trapezoidal rule. And then the second one, they use Simpsons 1 third, and then Simpsons 3 over 8, and then Simpsons 1 third again. And then the last part, they just use the trapezoidal rule. So they got the total integral as follows.